Welcome to Science Center for Education. A lot of kids here, but they're out, they all look like students on field trips, so that'd be fun. Hopefully it's not too congested inside. <laughs> Only about, what, 12-minute walk from our place, maybe? Yeah. Maybe 15 minutes. It's open from Tuesday to Sundays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Entrance is 30 baht for adults and 20 for children. Planetarium is 50 baht for adult and 30 for children. The Science Center for Education has several exhibit buildings. I had a lot of fun when I had some science exhibits. I am a homeschooler, and this is one of the best field trips ever. As a former science teacher, it gives me so much joy to see the look on my daughter's face as she explores and discovers how science makes things work. All the bad stuff, like the PFCs. Yeah, so you gotta kill them with the plants. <laughs> All the bad chemicals. If your children are the type that learns best by playing interactive games, then this place is definitely for them. It can be a place of fun learning, not just for children, but also for adults. I think Miriam likes this one. Space and time. Because Miriam was curious, we got into this without knowing what to expect. <laughs> Needless to say, Miriam did not like this one. I guess she's not gonna want to be an astronaut. <laughs> I guess she wasn't too excited about time travel either. It's not a ride, Miriam. <laughs> She's traumatized. Okay. Follow. Which choice is the most energy efficient? Moving the charger when the battery is full. Okay. It's creating enough electricity for them to be able to move. In the robotics room, you can let your little one take a break from all the learning and just unleash their own creativity. She 
sound was on. Here it is. Where's the guitar? The guitar is moving here somewhere. Right here. Over here. She was right. Is this Thailand over here? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Into the planetarium. So we are here in the planetarium. And it looks very cozy in here. I might just fall asleep. <laughs> Lie back on reclining leather couches. And relax. <laughs> no, can you look at the stars too? They will be projecting the images of the constellations right there. See it? This is gonna be the whole sky right here, man. That's why we can go back. We can see behind us. Unfortunately, no recording was allowed inside. Because we had gone to the museum quite late in the day, we ran out of time to explore all the buildings. So we came back a second day to explore Building 4, which is reportedly the favorite among kids. Among the attractions is an indoor playground. Miriam plans to become either a veterinarian or a marine biologist when she grows up. So naturally, she enjoyed every moment looking at animal specimens here in this museum. When I was a little girl, I remember sneaking into a lab at the University of the Philippines to look at taxidermic specimens just like these. So, so walking along and looking at these specimens in this museum is like a trip back down memory lane. Such an early exposure and fascination for biological specimens like these is part of the reason why I chose to study biology in college. And now, it seems my daughter wants to follow in my footsteps. Since the age of two, she has decided to become a vegetarian out of her compassion for animals. Why do you try to start Look, it's a skeleton! Yeah. Oh, God! Whoa. This is how plants are identified, before apps were invented. And now we take a journey back to the past. The ancient past. According to the museum's website, this is the most popular exhibit among children because it shows how life was on Earth during prehistoric times, also known as the Dinosaur Eras.
if you're ever in Bangkok, do consider visiting this place, especially if you have school-aged children. Yeah. yeah, this is just a good place to be. Very affordable, but you might have to a lot, a little more time just to go through all the buildings because there are several buildings here, including in the planetarium. So make some time for that. Heading out to uh, Yo Yo Land. Okay, so thanks for watching another episode of. Yo -Yo Land. Don't forget to subscribe. Send it love from Bangkok, Thailand.